Now that we have our block, we're going to do a very similar thing to what we did on the board the other day, except we're going to use the tools in this program to round out the different edges. First thing I want us to do is to round out these front two edges and this back edge over here. This tool up here, it says a fillet. I want you to click on the fillet tool. As you can see, it's going to show you what it does and it rounds out different edges. If you click on the fillet tool, you can see that there's different options. If you click this arrow down, you can see a whole bunch of random different options. For right now, we're going to put the arrow back up we're going to focus on the radius of the circle. And this number, depending on how you change it higher or lower, it's going to change the curve of your fillet. So let me show you. What you want to do is you want to click the edge that you want to change. And in this program, it's going to show you what it's going to look like. Now, to me, this curve is not enough. I would like to make it more curved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a number that I think might work. I'm going to type in 0.3 and I'm going to see if it's something that I like. For that front edge, I'm going to keep it at 0.3 because to me that looks like a good number. If you think you want to bump it up to 0.4, to make it more of a curve, bump it down to 0.2 to make it less of a curve, that is up to you. So now is a good time to play around with the numbers. Once you settle upon a number, press the check mark. Now you can see that the front part of our block is now curved, and we're going to continue trying to curve these other parts. I'm going to go back to the fillet tool and I'm going to click this front bottom curve. Now to me 0.3 is a little bit too much for the bottom curve so I'm going to type in 0.1 and keep trying a couple of numbers until I'm happy with it. So I'm going to keep it at 0.15 and press enter. Come over to your orbit tool, click on the orbit button, bring your mouse over and move it so that you can take a look. I'm happy with the front of my shoe, so I'm going to move it so that I can see this bottom edge down here. Once I can see that, I'm going to right click to get out of the orbit button. I'm going to go back to the fillet tool and I'm going to click this edge. 0.15 seems like a good curve to me, so I'm going to hit the check mark. And I have the first couple curves of my shoe. Okay. I also want to curve a bunch of these other edges. So I'm going to get out of the orbit tool again. I'm going to go back to the fillet tool and I'm going to click on this side edge and as you can see it's going to curve the rest of my shoe. I'm going to change the number to 0.1 and I'm going to continue hitting the edges and I might have to use my orbit tool but I'd like the rest of these edges to be filleted as well. So I'm going to click on the edges that I want to change. And I believe I got them all. Press OK. At this point, it's not going to completely look like a shoe yet, but it's going to start to take form. Using the orbit tool, you can move it around to make sure you got all your edges. And go back to the home button to center it out. 
Now we're going to continue making it look a little bit more like a shoe, and we need to use a different tool besides the fillet tool. I want you to come up here and click the chamfer button. Chamfer, instead of rounding out edges, it takes edges and it um, basically cuts the edges, as you can see, more of a diagonal cut. I'm going to take, and I want this edge to be different. So I'm going to click, and as you can see, when it's the radius is 0.125, it makes this much of a curve come out. I think I'm going to want to bump this number up and take a look at it. I'm going to keep trying numbers until I get one that I like. Now, if you go too high, as I went too high, you're going to see a button here. A, it's, it's an error message. This means that this number is too high. So in order to fix that, you have to make the number not as high. And in this program, it's all trial and error. So your numbers might be slightly different than mine. I'm going to type in the highest I can get, which is 0.34. Again, yours might be higher. You do whatever you feel looks good. I'm going to press enter, and now I have a little bit more of a diagonal down. And I'm going to fix some of these spots to make it look a little bit more um, clean. So I'm going to take the fillet tool again, and I'm going to click on these different edges, and I'm going to try some different numbers to see what what may work and what may not work. And when I'm happy with that, let's see, I'm going to accept and I have now the basic shoe profile. Again, yours might look slightly different than mine but as long as you are comfortable using the tools provided, that's what we're looking for.